different kinds of personality tests reflecting on the result, thinking, is this right about me or is it wrong, you know? Who am I really? And, and the discovering yourself to a deeper degree than you, you have already. It takes maybe sometimes a bit of meditation and a bit of mindfulness, a bit of reflection. Um, it's not with that everybody discover themselves in their teenagers and then they are ready, but, but we tend to discover new things about ourselves all uh, across our lives all the time and the next step is then accepting yourself the way you are making the best of who you are uh, and in the relationship with other people treating yourself well and treating other people well and using your basic motives and your basic needs for good stuff right so every need can be used in a different way there are no bad or good needs um, it's not like power is bad or independence is good and so on that's not true we are good exactly as we are and all needs can be used in a bad or good way so it's the behavior that comes out of you that is important not the level of your need Think about power, for example. If you have a high degree of power, I'm sure that Hitler had a high level of power. He wanted a lot of power. I'm also sure that Nelson Mandela had a high level of power. They wanted to influence, they wanted to drive something, a cause that they were passionate about. And then in one case, it had very negative consequences. And in another case, it may have had positive consequences because it's about the people who are looking at them, who are judging them, right? And uh, some actions we judge as good and some as bad. If you kill millions of people, that's probably a bad thing. But <laughs> if you try to change a country for the better and save it from racism, it's considered good because we have values as, as people. Some people think Hitler was great and did the, the right thing, right? So it's just depending on who is watching and who is judging. But we need to live according to our own values that we have and do the best of our basic needs. So there are no good or bad basic needs. It's not that this one is good, high level on that is bad, low level on this is, is good or bad. No, it's what we make of it. And we need to accept ourselves the way we are with our behaviors, with our basic needs. And then we need to, to uh, behave in ways that go along our value system uh, and make that decision. Okay, I will accept myself and I will do the best of me the way I am. other people for who they are. 
and the differences that we have between ourselves. And then it's about growing and improving, continuously developing, growing and improving. And it's not like you have to think about it all the time and stress yourself up because you have to grow and develop and be better all the time. That's not the way. You do it in your pace. Okay, you reflect, how can I do this better next time? Do a little uh, retrospective, an individual retrospective with yourself or with a peer. Um, and they, well, what do you think? You know, somebody you trust. You do that together, you can do an individual retrospective. It's very good to have somebody to bounce that um, back and forth with. Or you do it by yourself. You do a little meditation. What did I, what did I do well today? What didn't I do so well? In the evening maybe, before you go to sleep, you do this little, little uh, reflection and retrospective of the day. What can I improve until tomorrow? And then you get this kind of habitude or habit to always continuously uh, reflect and improve. It's a good habit. Yes, uh, self-leadership is important. We need to lead ourselves if we don't lead also other, others, which some people also do. Um, and, and then we need to help other people to find their way of leading as well. And uh, it's when you show up authentic, uh, authenticity is one of the Agile People principles that is very uh, close to my heart. I think it's extremely important that you are authentic and that you show uh, your intentions. And seldom are people's intentions bad. People are doing the best with, uh, they can with what they have in every situation. People are usually doing the best they can with what they have in every situation. And if you think they are behaving bad or they are doing something wrong, there is probably a very good reason behind it. So you can ask it down. Okay, um, authenticity, be yourself. Don't try to be anybody else because Every other person is taken. Who said that now? Mm -hmm. Oscar Wilde. Yes. Don't try to be anybody else. So as a leader, you cannot be somebody else. You can only be you. Build on your strength. Don't try to close skill gaps just because of closing skill gaps. If you're going to clo close a skill gap, it should be because you want to work on that skill and you want to develop it further. Be transparent and open and true to yourself when you develop your own leadership style. Then you get respect from other people because you show yourself as you truly are and you tell it as it is and, and then people will tend, tend to respect you for that. And um, yeah, I think that's important. Do and do not, we have here, do not control behaviors Controlling behaviors would inhibit other people's development. So if we try to control other people, they will not develop as well. And um, don't focus on other people's weaknesses. Um, try to close skill gaps. Instead, you help them to grow for, from where they are and you strengthen their passions, strengthen their interests, coach them to, to use their passions and interests and skills to become better and grow in the areas that they feel that they want and can grow in. And don't give them the answers. Let them instead uh, fail fast because that will give them a better learning than if you give them answers up front. Okay. We are going to talk about now difficult conversations because uh, especially maybe in HR and for leaders, we need to be able to have difficult conversations, right? We need to fire an employee or, you know, very difficult things. Uh, and how do you handle difficult conversations? And there is a lot of theory in the material. There are some articles. There are some videos, some movies that you can view.
But we are going to view um, a movie with uh, George Clooney. It's from a movie called uh, Up in the Air, where he is flying around, he's traveling around the US, firing people. He just does his job to fire people.